time I was three or four years old, I drew all the time. Drew, draw, do all the time. Every second, I, mean, when I worked in my when I worked in my father's florist. Too, he was a from the old country, uh, uh, and he was a Greek immigrant along with my mother. Uh, but when I worked in a and I worked at a store, as a, a good uh, Greek uh, son always did. Um, I drew all the time, and when I was in the store, and I wasn't actually working, I was drawing, 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 drawing. Yeah, I was at uh, the high school of music and art. Um, and I call it the greatest school of learning since uh, Alexander sat at the feet of uh, Aristotle. Uh, but uh, uh, I took design courses among, uh, you know, along with history of art courses, along with academic courses, and um, uh, I. I had a flair for it, whatever that means. But the, 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 at the very beginning uh, the, the, of the design courses, they were uh, basically, uh, um, you know, kind of a, a retro, uh, uh, you know, Kandinsky's and uh, Herbert uh, and Herbert Matters and uh, Paul Clay's, and we did designs with circles, and then we did a design with circles and uh, triangles, and then with uh, circles, triangles, squares, etc., rectangles. And um, at the end of my very first term, uh, after doing that for a term, you know, along with all my other courses, uh, he, uh, uh, Mr. Patterson gave us an eight, a beautiful 18 by 24 sheet of Strathmore, uh, expensive sheet of Strathmore, it must have cost at least a quarter in those days, which was big bucks. And uh, he said, um, uh, what we're going to do in the next hour and a half uh, will be uh, uh, one half of your mark for the term. Uh, you know, we had done dozens and dozens of them, and he said, um, "And the, 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 the subject this time is rectangles." Period. And everybody started to, work. and I just sat there for an hour and a half, and I didn't move. Just kind of looked around the room, and he. Was furious, you know. You could see him walking around, and trying to. Everybody busy as hell, cutting out squares and, you know, and doing a shape here, doing doing Malevich's, you know, Malevich red shape, blue shape. And I didn't move. And uh, and an hour and a half later, he said, "Time's up." And he started to pick up. His, he was furious. He was turning red, and he came up to me, to me, and he and he went to grab my 18 by 24 sheet, and I said, "Hold it a minute, Mr. Patterson," and I. Wrote my, my name, my signature in the corner, and I handed him a 18 by 24 rectangle. And he still didn't get it. He was furious, and he tore it out. And I, walked, I said, "Oh my God!" I, he didn't get it. I, oh boy. I, and I came in the next morning, and there, there were two or three teachers in the hallway who stopped me, and they said, "George, what you did for Mr. Patterson's class was brilliant." So he obviously had gone into. Uh, the locker room or something, and as, as they were leaving school, and he said, yeah, "What's wrong with that George Lois here? He's a terrific student." And he said, uh, he, "He was doing an 18 by 20." Yeah, he, was there, and he, he did nothing. He just handed me an 18 by 24 rectangle. Uh, anyway, th that was kind of a—I've always said that was kind of a, my epiphany, my self-induced in, epiphany when I when I realized that, uh, and and I made the, uh, public to. Everybody at the high school of music and art that uh, any that any problem, any design problem, any communication problem, there's, there's a chance to do something unusual, exciting, dramatic, unique, um, and um, and I and my my whole career is based on the fact that everything I work on, what I have to Create whether it's a advertisement or a, you know a, you know a, 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 a music video, a magazine cover, a promotion piece. Uh, that the that the my answer has got to be totally surprising and unique and almost and thrilling. Um, uh, so somehow in that first year at. at um, at high school music, music and art, I knew I was going to be some kind of a uh, a communicator, a designer, a, uh, and and also uh, I, I was really uh, inspired greatly by uh, uh, the work of Paul Rand, who at that time uh, 
uh, that was 45 and I was 14 years old and he must have been like 26 or something. He was a wonder king uh, and he uh, was, crea he was uh, writing and creating his own advertising for people, for, uh, for uh, uh, clients like Orbax and he was doing uh, IBM logos, etc. And um, he, it was thrilling to look at his work, not that my work is anything near what his is, but um, I, uh, I was thrilled with the idea that, a, uh, that you could work in, uh, as a communicator, as a designer, as an advertising guy, um, and, uh, uh, and, uh, and create your own work and, uh, and not be a whore, not, and not do uh, uh, awful, terrible work. So that, that inspired me.